Hello ladies, so today I'm going to show you how to make this double stacked pinwheel hair bow. You're going to need scissors. I'm using templates for this one, ribbon, needle and thread, wood burner or lighter, glue gun, glue sticks, hair clips, and I use tweezers for um, my clip. I am using 7 8 inch ribbon for the first layer and one and a half inch for my bottom layer and I'm using 3 8 inch ribbon for my center. These templates that I'm going to be using can be purchased from A&L Displays. They come in 2 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch. Today I'm only going to be using the 3 inch and the 4 inch template. I already um, had a head start and used my 4 inch template with 1.5 inch ribbon. I'm going to demonstrate on the 3 inch with the 7 8 inch ribbon. This is the ribbon that I'm going to be using today and it says we go together like chicken and fries. This ribbon can be purchased from CC's Ribbon and Things. All the links to these shops will be posted down below. I already have my needle and thread together. You're going to need a clip. You're going to want I'm right-handed, so I tend to do everything towards the right first. So I'm going to leave about half an inch away from the edge. I'm going to fold it in, and there's where I'm going to place my clip. And if you can tell, I left it at an angle. So you're going to turn it around. You're going to want to overlap that just a little bit. Bring it back forward. Overlap it just a little bit, not too much overlap and overlap one more time get another clip fold it and then cut the ring remaining off so for the top part you're gonna have three rows for the back you're gonna only have two now you're gonna need your needle and thread and I always start the bottom center. Whenever you're making this hair bow, it's important that you want to sew it in a straight line down the middle. So I brought it through. I'm going to turn it around and just right there, I'm going to insert it. And in the front where you overlapped it, you're going to want to insert it right there right where you insert it so that way you can get both those ribbon. In the back, right there where you overlapped. And just keep on repeating this step all the way up. And try your best to make sure that the stitches are centered. Remove your clips and pull your ribbon off. I am using upholstery thread purchased from at Walmart. Next, you're gonna wanna pull your ribbon through. Mine kinda got stuck somewhere, so I'm just giving it a tug on each one. There it goes. And just scrunch up that ribbon right there. Just like that. Wrap it around. You can do it two or three times. I just do it two times. Turn it to the back side. And secure it. just like that. I don't cut off my needle and thread. I leave it. I already made my V cuts on this one and I already heat sealed this one. So now I'm gonna do it for the second one. So all you're gonna do is grab your strand, fold it in half, and cut it inward like this. You don't wanna do it outward because you're not gonna get the right V. So cut it inward just like that. 
and repeat the same step for the top strand. And if you can tell, this one's just a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna give it another V cut just to where I like it. Right there. I'm gonna be using my wood burner and I'm going to heat seal. You want to be careful that you don't um, burn your ribbon. So there's my pinwheel. So next I'm going to bring my thread up. I'm going to get my glue gun, add some glue to the center, and then lay it on top of my second layer, right in the center. just like that. To, so, to secure both of these bows together, I'm just going to give it one wrap around both of them. And I'm going to knot it in the back. And I'm going to leave my needle and my thread still attached. Next, I'm going to get my one 0.75 inch hair clip and my three inch ribbon. I'm going to heat seal that with my wood burner. I'm going to add a dab of glue right here to my clip. Just like that. This cute little um, glue stand, glue gun stand, I purchased from A&L Displays as well. So I added my glue, sorry about that, my wood burner was falling down and that does burn if you're ever to get burned with it, be careful. Now I'm going to add glue alongside my clip, just like that, hold it down, bring it to the front. And like right around there, I'm going to clip it and I'm going to heat seal this part. Just like that. Now it's ready to be added onto my hair bow. So I'm going to add some more glue to my clip. Going to add it to my hair bow just like that. I'm going to press down all I can. Next, you're going to want to grab your needle and thread, and you're going to want to wrap it around your hair bow and your clip. This helps secure it all together. So, I'm going to give it a pull. This is upholstery thread, so it won't break. And I'm going to secure that. Now you can cut that off. So I'm going to be using my 3 8 inch again. I'm going to heat seal it and I am going to, this is going to be the top of my bow right here. If you turn it around you can see my print is facing in the upright direction so I'm going to turn it around and when I add my 3 8 inch ribbon I'm going to add it to the top. So I'm just going to put a line of glue the width of the ribbon right there 
I'm going to add it onto my bow just above the clip you don't want it on the clip because it won't attach properly open my clip up put it through and wrap it around just like that when I open this up again my clip I'm going to add glue right in here and when I do you're gonna want to make sure that you pull your ribbon pretty tightly just like that hold it down and clip it I'm gonna use my wood burner to heat seal that and now I'm ready to line my clip in the inside this just gives it a more professional look so, and I use, I use the help of my tweezers. So all you do is add glue, grab your tweezers, and just pull it through. Just like that. Sorry, I keep on bumping into that thing. And now you have a pinwheel bow. And if you want to pull on it to make adjustments, you can. If you're using the upholstery thread, it's not going to break. You're not going to pull out any loops or any of that. So now you have some cute little pinwheel bows. I hope this helps some of you. Thank you for watching.